the last videos I want to do actually, or the last examples I should say I want to do, actually come from your assignment. And I want to start with doing number four together. Now, let's remind ourselves the equation that we learned last video is one half times side times side times sine of the angle between those two sides. Now, if you look at number four, you should notice a problem right away. I don't have any angles between these sides, which means I'm going to need to do law of sines or law of cosines to find one of my angles. So if I look at this, I have three sides. Anytime you have all three sides, that should immediately tell you this is a law of cosines problem. So if this is a law of cosines, we remember we talked about if law of cosines had side, 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 then we always solve for the biggest angle first. And the biggest angle is always across from the biggest side. So there's my biggest side. Go across. So I'm going to solve for capital E. So let's remind ourselves of the law of cosines. If I'm going to solve for capital E, I need to start with little e squared. So let's label our triangle. There's little e. Across from F, there's little f, and across from B, there's little b. If I start with little e squared, next comes the other two letters, B and F squared and added. Then always comes a minus 2. Then I repeat those letters I just did, and then cosine of capital what I started with. Now, this should be review. We did law of cosines in the last lesson in 9.2. So I want you to plug everything in and then try to simplify this on your own and then come back to check your answer. Welcome back, guys. Let's check what you got. This is the final answer I got. If that doesn't match what you got, a couple places where you might have gone wrong. Number one, did you subtract those two numbers? Because remember, that is my stern mom face. That is my number one pet peeve. We cannot subtract those two numbers because that one is multiplying to the cosine. So you have to minus 104 and then divide by this negative 102. Then we take the inverse cosine to get rid of the cosine. So that's what we get. And then we just need to type it in to get that. So I now have capital E. So let's go back and double check. Remember, I need side, side, and angle between. I now have a side, a side, and an angle between those two sides. Which means I should now be able to just plug everything in. So side, side, and then don't forget this sin. That's a common mistake students make. They forget that sign is there. 76.468 degrees. And if we type that in, 0.5 times 8 times 6.4 times sine of 76.468. 26.4. And that's what we get for our final answer. That is the area of this triangle. Okay, let's do one more problem, and then I'll tell you what your homework is. We're going to do number one, because in this case, once again, I have two sides. I do not have the angle between those two sides. And that's a problem. That's what I need to find. So I need to find capital D. Now, there actually are a couple different ways you could go about this. I could find capital D, so then I have two sides and the angle between them. 
or what if I found this side? And then I have two sides and the angle between them. Can you see how there's a couple different methods we can use? The biggest importance is I need to know two sides and the angle between them. So the first thing I look at is I'm going to have to use law of sines or law of cosines to solve for some stuff in this triangle. How do I know which one? Well, right there is a complete pair. So my first step is going to be to use the law of sines to solve for what's missing. So let's think about this. Law of sines. The one on the left is the pair that I know, which is my f's. There's my little f. There's my little e. Here's my little e. Now, remember the pair on this side has, you have to know one of them and then solve for the other, which means I can't do the d's. Because if I do those d's, oops, sorry about that. I don't know either of them. That's not going to work. So that means I'm going to solve for my E's. Let's plug in what we know. Capital F is, is 56 degrees. Little f is 8. I do not know capital E, and I know little e is 4. I want you to pause the video at this point and solve this problem out. This should be a review. You should have done problems like this several times at this point. So pause the video and try to solve this from here on your own. Welcome back. Check what you got with what I got. This is the final answer I got. You always start with cross multiply for law of sines. Here's my cross multiplying. I need to solve for capital E, so I divide by 8 first. And then I do my inverse sign here to the sign, and that solves for E, and then I type it all in. So I wrote that onto my triangle. Now notice, remember, the whole point of this is I need two sides and the angle between them. I have this angle. I do not have the two sides around it. I have this angle. I do not have the two sides around it. So I'm not there yet. So we're going to do one more thing, because I have two angles, which means I can solve for capital E using my 180 rule. So if I plug that in with my 180 rule, I get 99.52. And now let's check. I have two sides and the angle between. Now I'm good to use my area formula. One half times side times side times sign, I will set that up, of the angle between. So I've got one half times eight times four times sign of my angle between. Type that all in, and you should get 15.78. And there you go. Now, as for your homework, you have three homework problems here. You have number two, number three, and number five. So you should be able to get started on all of those at this point, um, and then you can also do your campus homework, and that's it.